Floods in Ghana is a dire situation, one that governments over the years have talked big about without anything to show for it, at least not enough to bring relief. President Ekufuado on Wednesday touted his government as one to have made the most investment in tackling floods, but the reality on the ground leaves much to be desired. The Sunday, May 22 and Monday, May 23 rains were no different from the previous in terms of destruction. Homes submerged in water, valuable properties lost, roads destroyed, trees uprooted and general destruction of livelihoods. At every corner of the city, people were seen counting their losses. The rain entered into our rooms and as we are speaking to you now, we, we, we are stranded. We don't, we don't know where to go. As a measure, President Ekufuado directed local assembly authorities to enforce bylaws. He specifically wants all structures on waterways pulled down. Metropolitan, municipal and district chief assemblies have been charged to ensure the obstructions to the free flow of water, as well as developments along waterways, are removed immediately. Building on waterways has always been at the center of conversations about floods in the Fourth Republic, though Ghana's flood story goes as far back as 1959. Very often, the quest for solutions is inundated with a blame game among political leaders. In 2019, former President Jerry John Rawlins of blessed memory accused his successor John Ejikum Kufo of being the cause of floods in Ghana. According to Rawlins, Kufo set a bad precedent when he built his house on a waterway. He said, quote, the Kufo one, the Villaggio villages were built on the waterway, the southern part of the motorway, why won't others do it? If he can do it, why can't others do it? He blocked the waterway, unquote. President Kufour would not take the blame. In 2015, soon after the June 4th disaster, he too blamed the flood situation on, quote, a general lack of continuity in our development process, unquote. He had hoped that the incident, which claimed about 150 lives, would be a turning point. But it does appear the point never turned. Ghanaians are still stuck in the same quagmire, having to deal with the same situation year in, year out. Kufo's successor, the late Professor John Evans Mills, had also observed while on tour of flat-hit areas in the eastern region in 2011 that illegal miners were responsible for the situation. In his words, quote, the activities of Galamsey operators have caused enough damage to lives and property and we can no longer allow them to continue, unquote. Former President John Germani Mahama and the Hustana, the June 4th twin disaster of flood and fire happened, also observed in 2015 that unplanned settlements exacerbated the flood situation. While floods are a natural characteristic of rivers and streams in their lower courses, the severity and damage they can cause are exacerbated by uncontrolled human settlement and activity. He would later announce he's found the antidote to the perennial floods and also promised to tackle it once and for all if given another opportunity to serve. He said, quote, we need to get an engineering solution to the flooding in the capital. A crass problem is an engineering problem and also not sticking to the planning rules. So we are looking at the big push and see how we can channel some of that money into solving the flood issue in Accra in particular, unquote. As it stands, all eyes are on the MMDCs to carry through the president's directive. But will that be an end in itself? Tony Asari of the Ghana Institute of Architects believes more can be done beyond the politics. The assemblies are required to come and inspect your land. Right. And it, the assemblies are also required to make sure that they go through staged development and inspection mm -hmm. so that you, whatever you build is consistent. Until something radical is done, Ghanaians, especially those who live in the capital city of Accra, will always dread rains. Not because they are not good, but simply because of the level of devastation they cause.